Guys, listen. I know we haven't had the best run in Modern Cube. I think our Modern Cube River is 1 2 1 2 0 3 out of the three drafts we've done so far. Which is nothing compared to our infinite 3 0s and 2 1s in the Live the Dream Cube, which was a favorite of mine. But, um. Don't know what the Nayu was for. I don't even know what that was supposed to be. Undrum tune, I appreciate you. I walked out of my party and said, dude, you are you are wonderful. I am grateful for our friendship. Oh, this is a two of eight. What's up, everybody? We paused it when it was a two. And then we unpaused it when it fired. People were talking about how the modern cube isn't great, so it made me feel a little more validated in my opinion. I don't want to come off as like I'm complaining about it, but I think it is my least favorite cube. Dylan Mace with a gifted sub to Dobby Teta420. Uh, Crypto Command Muldrifter. Thundermaw does just end the game. That's true. I mean, if they have five life. I kind of want Crypto Command or Muldrifter, man. These are my... These are my spirit people. Muldrifter is definitely easy to cast and splash. Alright, I'm going to take Cryptic Command. I think it's more my spirit card. We'll see. Gideon Jura, let's play the same deck we played yesterday. Ooh, now I have Arena in the background, so I have all these these relaxing bird sounds. That's like my favorite thing ever. I really like the relaxing bird sounds. <clears throat> I like Time Warp. I like Galenalendra. I like Electrolyze. <clears throat> I like Nickel Bolas too, as you guys probably know. I could see take a, take a Nickel Bolas. I could see take a Nickel Bolas. I think it's Time Warp. Or Galen. I like Galen Lander. Oh, Serum Visions? Oh, I like Elder Gargaroth a lot. This card seems like a beast. I think it's just there's so much better as a card than Serum Visions, right? I'm taking the Gargaroth. I'm going to take what I like. You can't stop me. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm sure someone already asked, but I just joined. What one gets banned? Euro Omnath or Scoot Swarm? I don't think Scoot Swarm is even close. Uh, Shua Garner, thank you so much for the resub. I'm gonna take this Ugin. I mean, if we're if we're gonna be Simic, we're gonna have some form of ramp, presumably. I think Euro. I think they're gonna be reluctant to ban Omnath, but I think it's really hard to disagree. I think Lotus Cobra, Omnath, and Scoot Swarm are significantly more um, likely to be on the chopping block than Scoot Swarm. I don't even think that card's... Yeah, because people are making like 800 copies of Scoot Swarms on Arena, apparently. Oh, I like a Mana Leak. I also like a Devoted Druid. Devoted Druid leads to turn 3 Elder Gargaroth. I think we're also going to likely try and take every single blue-green land because triple blue into double, double green is not ideal. Oh, 
Tatiova seems great. So does Hornet Queen. Jeez. Tatiova is gas. I want to take the Tatiova. Yeah, I'm also selling four Euros and four Misties on Facebook, along with a bunch of other cards. So if you guys are interested in anything, check out my Facebook post. Also got a Mana Drain. Um, some Dark Depths. Rex Sage seems nice. Whisper World Elemental seems fine. I like having this effect in the main deck. Arbor Elf? Sure. Can we buy your cards with channel points? No. Channel points don't pay the bills, guys. Oh, the Electrolyze came back? That's pretty wild. I'm going to take Duplicant. If this was a, any sort of green-blue land, I would have taken that. But Duplicant, I think, is a good pickup for a deck that's not going to have a ton of natural removal. I mean, there's only one blue heavy card. It's literally a cryptic command. This is one blue. This is one blue. Plus, we don't have any green heavy cards. Like, we could literally have one forest to cast all of these. So, I don't know. I think we're fine for now. Oh, Nissa? Alright. Well. Sure. Okay, Glenn's too blue if you want to keep it up that turn. Sure. But I don't think we're going to have a problem getting two, eye, two blue sources. Like, and that seems like a pretty normal requirement for a two-color deck. Uh, Battlesphere seems great here. Thank you! MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it, my dude. Oh, the Hornet Queen came back? And Acidic Slime? Oh, wow. That's actually tricky. Um... I think it's Hornet Queen. I think. Oh, Whisper. Oh, geez. That was. Okay, we're the only green draft at the table for sure. 30 months? My god, that's two and a half years. I've been here for two and a half years. Lantern seems good. Warm Coil seems good. Avacyn's Pilgrim, I don't care about. Scavenging News is kind of fine. I don't think we're going to have an issue with late game cards. I think I just want the Lantern for. Fixing and ramp. Like turn one elf into turn two lantern seems pretty good. Forest and island. That is a, a two-color boy. I think we're taking that. I'm not super impressed with Sheldock in uh, Modern Cube. For one, it's harder to get to 20 cards in your deck. For two, your threats are nowhere near as, as debilitating. I think we just want the... The dual land. Oh, Lantern definitely sets up Cryptic. You ain't kidding. Oracle of Moldiah? Okay. That's probably all I need to see. Another forest island. <laughs> 
Jace Friend's Prodigy seems decent. So does Dryad. Dryad's like Chromatic Lantern that you can't tap. Hmm. Two Triomes that are both dual color. I think it's just Jace here. We don't have any two drops. Ooh, Tarmogoyf, that's exciting. Just kidding. Uh, I like Harmonize, I like Master of the Wild Hunt. I think Master is always a good card in these formats, and I think he doesn't get enough respect. Although Harmonize is just Ancestral Recall, right? It's basically the same card. I want to take Master. Noble Hierarch? Oh, that's banging. That is banging. Easy game, easy life. <laughs> that's not Dismember. I don't know. Red Cans, what were you referring to there? I was like, I don't think there's a Dismember in this pack. And then I was like, is he just lagging? Oh, Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness. Oh, the black one drop. I think it was Gravecrawler. Yeah, I'm taking Eternal Witness here for sure. <laughs> oh, Breeding Pool. As much as I love Questing Beast, we got to take a Breeding Pool. <sighs> That's sad. Where are the turtle witnesses? Oh, scavenging news came back. I'm gonna take you over, Abyssin Spilgrim. You you provide a, a relevant role in a deck. Oh, Corsair of Crew Fix came back. I like Reflecting Pool here, actually, because if we have any blue source, it just doubles our blue. I think it's actually very good. Dryad is probably just better than Lantern, I think. If you have a second land in hand, it kind of... Oh, the Harmonize came back. Good lord. We don't need it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Literal only green draft around the table. 61 months? That's like almost a year. It's true. It's true. Sammy, I thank you. Sam, I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Rattle Claw Mystic seems good. Rattle Claw also helping with Cryptic. I imagine Progenitor Mimic will probably come back. I'm going to take Scavenging News out and put you in the sideboard. Put Harmon Eyes in the sideboard. I don't actually care about this Nissa that much. This is wild. We're already at 23 cards and this is first pick. Oh, 
Oh, do you prefer Sammy? I thought you wanted me to stop calling you Sammy. Sammy, I will keep calling you Sammy because it's so much easier. Because that's what I know you. So strumming with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, guys. Dryad is poop. Helps us cast cryptic command and it lets us play two lands a turn. Oh, derogatory speaker. <sighs> sure. I mean, the, other, the alternative is Spark Double Temporal Master in Nature's Claim. I am passing up a green soul ring in a modern cube. Uh, maybe we just cut the blue. Good grief. Tree Speaker is not poop. That is correct. Misty Rainforest. We could take Sylvan Carry at it. I'm not sure if we need it. It'll probably also come back. I don't think Misty will. And we don't really need more playables. Jeez. Yeah, Dragos Tree Speaker is legal and modern. It's not huge. Golos. Golos with Dryad seems really sweet. We also have Chromatic Lantern. Let's take a Golos for our boy Super Fritz. I haven't pooped since Sunday. I'm scared. Sammy, that's no good, buddy. You need to get the you need to get the process moving. You need to get it moving along. I'm gonna take Jade Light Ranger, I guess. I'll take a poop for you here in a minute, in your memory. <laughs> oh, God. So that's what I love about my chat, though. You guys are always so accommodating. Someone hasn't pooped in a few days? You'll poop for them. Hinterland Harbor? God, they're making it easier and easier. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to keep taking on-color lands because I don't want to cut these. I only pooped twice at Kerwood. Is that true? <laughs> if that's true, that's really disturbing. I'm disconcerted right now. Okay, whenever you add a non whenever a non land permanent adds mana, so like Rattle Claw, Draw a Tree Speaker, add one mana paint type, it produce. Look at the top five cards in your library. Put a non human creature from among them on the battlefield with the rest. I think this is probably pretty good, right? Vivian Monsters Advocate's also very, very good. And I would play this over Whisperwood, I think. I think I'm gonna take Vivian and then I, I maybe this little table with the last card in the pack. <gasps> Fuck <laughs> Seriously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is this is eighth pick primeval titan. Yeah, it was, because now we got progenitor mimic. How how Green is open, maybe. Eh, nature's claim, sure. Sylvan carry added came back. Seems good. 28 cards. I'm just going to take Genesis Wave. I'm 
We have not seen a hoof. There's no hoof, unfortunately. After this, we're going to watch a trailer together as a family. As a stream family. I'm just going to take every... Like This is a wild side where we still have J. Light Ranger and Nissa harmonize the rag tusk. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, wow. Maybe it'll come back as the last pick. Yeah. That's wild. Okay, I'll unpause the video. We just watched the WandaVision trailer in case you guys are curious. Uh, we have five cuts to make. Jaybro, what up, buddy? Welcome back. Good to see you again, my dude. Um, is that a TV show? Yeah, it's one of the, like, six Marvel original TV shows that are going to be on Disney+. Plus, Including, like, Hawkeye, Moon Knight. Oh, God, I'm so excited for Moon Knight. Uh, Vision, uh, w Winter Soldier and Falcon. Loki. Cut blue. I mean, with, like, Noble Hierarch, Rattleclaw, Sylvan Carry added, like, the blue splash is almost free. I don't think we know who's playing Moon Knight. I also love Tatiova so good. Ugh. This is still 25, guys. It's not even worth it. We've still got a couple more things. Oh, God. I could see cutting Cryptic Command, but I think, like, Tatiova should stay. Also, I was going to play Vivian over Whisperwood. I don't care about Garrick or Lantless that much. I can easily board that guy in. Oh yeah, they also have She-Hulk coming. Yeah, that's exciting too. Hmm. I mean, this could definitely be 16 lands when we have seven guys here. I mean, I could just play it like this, actually. We could just splash. I don't know if this guy's worth splashing, though. We have the top five cards. Put a non-human among them. Like, we have this, 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 this. We have quite a few non-humans. Kurt wants me to play the Japanese interview video that he was in. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Good luck on your poops, buddy. <laughs> hmm. I think maybe Jade Light Ranger over... Kinnon. I think this is probably a fine 24, and we can just splash for this. And then I'll just still play these in like 17, 11, 12, yeah, so 16 lands. Because Catcher of Triumph as a red also helps us with Golos. Uh, do I have an Instagram account? Yeah, it's literally just at Frank Lepore. It's literally my name. All right, I'm going to give this a go. It's weird keeping Cryptic Command on the sideline, but I think we're okay. Like, I think a deck is still good enough. Mm. 
while we wait. I want to play this Kerwood interview because he wants me to. Can I interview? Sure. Oh, thank you. Sure. What did you buy this? Uh, I got, uh, why did I buy it or what did I buy? Kara breaks out the Japanese. <laughs> okay, hold on, we gotta join our match. Oh man, good times. I will play first. Oh, okay. I'll keep it. Turn two carry added is turn three courser with a land on top, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, once Kurt was like, I can speak Japanese too. They were like, oh, and it's like, that's right. That's right, baby. <laughs> Yo, we got Disco Biscuits 42 up in the up in the match. <laughs> okay let's uh let's make with the gameplay Lapore. that was a big wiener oh this is also nice because we can go tracker into into land dang Kerwood did have a glorious beard here. <laughs> Got him. Nice whiff, nerd. go tracker land or courser land I'm gonna go tracker land because we hit a non-creature spell after that's wild see the reason to play to play, to play courser is because it might help us get that fifth land so we can play Vivian but we have two shots but the card we draw and the card we hit on top to get a land for Courser, and then we can just crack a clue. See, the thing about Tracker is, like, I'm not too scared about board wipes because we do have Hornet Queen to refill. We have Vivian Monsters Advocate to stay on the board forever and create Ricci Boys. Nice. Ooh, Eternal Shitness. Uh, let's say reach. And I'm not going to attack because now that we have a reach guy, they might want to block Tireless Tracker. They might want to block it anyway, so. I shaved that wiener good. What does that mean? Okay, well. Oh. Um. Fascinating. They have Fatal Push, they want to kill Tracker? No. Interesting.
Oh, that was a good hit. <clears throat> Ugin on the top. Ugin on the top. Ugin on the top. Were they trying to figure out why I blocked? I was like, I got reach, baby. He got the reach, baby. Three damage to your face is better than one damage being prevented. See, like, now if they damnation, like, we have three clues on board. We have one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm probably just going to crack a clue here. I don't need to overcome anything else. So they're attacking, which means they're probably going to wipe the board. Damnation too. Scarab God. That's a solid dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. We play Eternal Witness. They can get back Hypnotic Spectre, but that's pretty much it. There's a lot of clues. Blue's clues up in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight next turn. I'm also tempted to just put a rattleclaw face down. Hmm. Actually, we're probably just going to negative five next turn, uh, which is not great. God, Scarab Guns. A real card. Okay, this is actually pretty good for us because it means they're probably not going to be doing much during their turn. Told you, you should have drafted this member. It's true. Oh, I guess it does leave his face down. I think we were our plan was to to um sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have two cards. Like, so if we... We just attack with everybody, right? Like, we know we're drawing this. They have nothing on the board. I mean, we could crack a clue and hope there's a land underneath, but I don't know if it's worth that risk. Five, six, seven, eight, nine... So what are blocks? Four, four on five, four. Two, four on three, three. Two, two on two, one. I 
I mean, we're losing them anyway, right? So. Yikes. Don't like this, but. I mean, where's Crater Hoof when you need it? I mean, being able to put, like, Mirror Owls here or Hornet Queen next turn is pretty epic, so. We can also just Eternal Witness get back Vivian if they don't never return it. Is Wiping necessary? No, but, like, if they have any removal spell for, like, a Hornet Queen or an Eternal Witness, they just get start getting back their things, and it just becomes worse. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to play any of these creatures while they have Scarab God on the board because then they just block them and it just gets exponentially worse. It's so, like, I don't want to commit any of these things while the Scarab God's on board because we're going to have to get rid of this at some point. Like, if they have, like, a Dismember for Hornet Queen and then they reanimate it, it's just terrible. Okay, this actually works significantly better than I thought. And this is nicer because these guys go to the graveyard. Um, instead of being exiled. Oh, they have Creeping Tarpet, though. That's unfortunate. Well, we couldn't really let Ugin live, so... Oh. Oh, instead of creeping tarpeting, they... Gave us a thing to kill? Well. Certainly. I feel like we're living the dream here. Oh, they did have damnation. Wild. On the wings of love, I'm just gonna play four, five for ones over and over again. So many five for ones. Hmm. The only thing we saw that was relevant for Ooze was Scarab God. I think our deck is good. I think we're fine. I don't really see any of these cards that are super relevant for us. I can see taking out Rexage. We saw no targets for it. And bringing in, like, Garrick because of they have Damnation and things. So... Cards like what's his word? This is amazing. Kurt, I'm actually surprised you and this this uh, the interviewer didn't get married. We got nine more seconds left. Amazing. Um, this hand's slow, but so is their deck, and we have lots of things to draw. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, now you're gonna, now you're gonna take my Garrick. I did not got him. Let's get Triome here. Ooh, tireless tractor. The second one's called What's in People's Shopping's Bag Shopping Bags. Where are you asking what I bought or why I bought it? Oh, they have no blue sources. Don't play if not expector. That'd make me sad. That's that's fine. Ooh. If we go land Oracle land, it's pretty good. We should all. Well, I should. I should do a YouTube segment where I stand outside of porn shops and I just. Oh, are you f falling? Sh oh, f <laughs> that's discouraging. Okie dokie. No, don't like that. Get creeping tar pit. Wow. MTG nerd girl with the raid. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, lady. You are awesome. A fabled passage instead of tar pit? That's surprising. My dear, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, We are up a game, so that's kind of cool. But magic's difficult, so... I think Fallen Shinobi should not be in the, the modern cube. Like, it's just a card that I'm like, well, this card's great in Vintage Cube, so I don't know, maybe let's not include it here because that's really good. And now, like, I have to chump lock this guy. Ugh. Feels bad. Thank you. And they have, then they have Golos. Come on. This is my Golos. If we hit a land, though, we can Prime Evil Titan, and that's kind of cool, right? Kerwit with the gifted sub. Thank you, my dude. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think they might not have shouldn't should not have played a land might not have should not have played a land and you know first because then if they hit a land it's doesn't matter doesn't matter <laughs> doesn't matter we have to hit two lands in order to play Hornet Queen now yike well we're drawing this guy. Okay, it's still fine. Come on, death touching daddies. Let's go. One time. Okay, well, that's only six. Well, that's unfortunate. Just one land because prime time gets us land. No, 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 no. I want to actually uh, not die. So, yeah. Unfortunately, that does not seem like the um, the thing that's gonna happen. Well, let's see. Uh, okay, it was right. It was there.
You know what? Sure, why not? Okay, another land on top. Let's just keep cracking. Maybe there's something under here, you know? Okay, well, let's go to the next game. That was good. So, Fallen Shinobi and uh, a Demonic Embrace. That's really all you need to see. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well. I'm just going to play 41 because I don't even care. Okay, I'll keep it. See, the question is, which should we play first? Yeah, Rangers actually correct because you want to be able to play Corsair of Crucifix on a turn where you can actually get some value out of the land. So you can play Corsair on three and still have a land drop for that turn. So, oh, Scrap Heap Scrounger. See, that makes me more encouraged to play Corsair or Dryad. Let's play Dryad. Maybe. See, Dryad with Corsa next turn is nice. Because if there's two lands on top, it's pretty okay. One, two, three, four. And I really just want a way to block this scrap heap scrap. I see. <laughs> oh, dear God. Demonic Embrace? Is this how it's going to be? <laughs> That is, in fact, how it's going to be. Wow. Two games just going to lose straight up to Demonic Embrace. Uh, this can block flyers, yes, but we do have to hit a land. Sure. And we did not. Hmm, boy. Golos, you can go in the trash can. Uh, graveyard. And graveyard. And still no lands. Wow. <laughs> uh, so if they draw a blue source, they just kill us with Creeping Tarfit, right? So. Okie dokie. Oh, they did not have a blue source. That's wild, dude. Fun games. <sighs> About par for the course. Win game one handily. Lose the next two. Good times. Okay, I'm going to head out. Yeah.
Disco Biscuits, good games. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. Yeah, apparently when you just put Demonic Embrace on all your creatures, I can't really do anything, especially if I miss five land drops. It's kind of rough. Let's mulligan. Sure. Like seven one and two drops in the deck. It's very weird not hitting any of them by turn three. Yeah. And this is awkward because they know we don't have a fourth land in our hand, otherwise we would have played it, so. You know what? Sure. We'll just get the triad back. Yep. wild okay Interesting. Thank you. I don't think Rex Sage is main deckable in this format. Disco Biscuits, thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate it. Um... Yeah, just attack Soren. Oh god. I guess we can cast Rex Age, sure. I guess there's that.
I don't know why you played Corsair of Crufix if you're just going to play Grey Merchant, but... Wait, what? Is Vampire being attacked by Vampire and Spirit? Yeah, well, I don't understand why you would do that, but... Okay. Bring in Garrick. It's a five. Yep. Take out Golos, bring in Thrag Tusk. Seven, seven, one, and two drops in the deck. Can't hit one of them. I don't understand. I'm still going to keep it. I think Corsair's good enough on the play, especially, but it's kind of wild. No, I don't feel like the blue splash has been an issue. Um, we've never had a problem with blue mana. Sure. I'm going to graveyard this guy because in order to put it on top, it means we have to draw it. Yeah, bottom both of those because I need a fourth land. All right, well. We have two shots for a land, top of deck, and then top of deck under that. Two tops of deck. Oh, what up, Dennis? Uh, drafting for this modern cube has been going pretty much as, as usual, I'd say. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Mega Vampire. Like that. Four. So this costs five. So we can actually play Great Henge. That seems pretty good. Actually, maybe we should have mm, Master of the Wild. This guy he comes in to play tapped, and we can attack Soren. First thing, new job. Congrats, buddy. What is breeding pool? What the fuck? Sucks you're kind of in a rut for formats. You can't get Supreme to launch, you load Modern Cube, and you're mad on Zendikar. Dude, but do you remember how high I was when I was like playing the Live, Live the Dream Cube? That thing was bananasly fun. That's not a term, but I made it the term, so here we are. Yep, that's fine. And I let that resolve like an idiot. Interesting. Bananasly is my new favorite word. Mine too, buddy. Yeah, we'll just kill this. Oh, that's old Jimmy Bananasly. Three. Corsi. Draw that. Draw that. Land. Gain a life. 
life. Draw that. Okay. Well, that was a good turn. <sighs> the beginning of... What is this clip and how did you even find it? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. You know bananas, Michael? Who do you think you're talking to? This is six days ago? Buddy, I know all about the bananas. What's your favorite species of banana? The tiny ones? That's not a species. I don't remember the name. <laughs> I don't remember the name. Oh, wow. I thought you knew everything about bananas. Well, not offhand. I got a book that I wrote about them. You wrote a whole book about them, but you yeah. can't remember one name? Yeah, I have memory issues, and I appreciate it if you didn't bring it up. What's your book called? Bananas in Pajamas, Part 2, the sequel. The beginning of hope for banana kind. It's a little lengthy, but yeah. part two, the sequel. Oh, Michael B, you national treasure. Dragon Lord Slilimgar. What do you take here? That's what I figured. We're not going to tap it because then we just lose a wolf for nothing. And they can't really take advantage of it because they don't have any wolves. So, But we do have a duplicate in hand. We also have a lot of mana here. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... So now we only have three mana left. I forgot we don't have Oracle out so we can't play two lands a turn. I don't think that really matters here, but you know, it could. Three, five. I'm just gonna pass. I still don't think we're gonna a position to really get get jiggy with it here. Need to restart my client, sorry. I'll give him the old NP. That's a classic. That was quick. In Soviet Russia, client restarts you. That checks out. So I don't feel like they have very good blocks here. I mean, this guy can, like, almost three for one them. I guess they just block with these two. And this guy comes back as a plus one, plus one. Oh, that's that guy's always always a pleasure. 
Well, so much for attacking. Um... Oracle of Moldiah. Land off the top. Oh, we should have played Tireless Tracker first. I'm bad at this game. Tireless Tracker. Put a counter on it. Play a land. Eternal Witness. Okay. Do I have a way to get this? See, like, this is why I like the blue, because Cryptic Command just gives you a sense of reach that you just don't have. Plus, we have 13 cards. We have to win somehow, and I don't actually know how we're going to actually win the game. I mean, I guess we can f try to find a Hornet Queen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I mean, as if we attack with Battle Ball, they literally just block with Phyrexian Obliterator. We don't have the permanence to really sacrifice seven permanents. Plus, they just literally block with Obliterator and Vampire, and then it's done. So, um, I mean, I do feel like an Alpha could be good, but like their Soren giving their guys lifelink is just actually terrible for us, surprisingly. Sure. They know they don't get their guy back when they kill the duplicate, right? It's not like... I mean, duplicates are significantly worse source than Elder Gargoyle or, or, or Primal, Primeval Titan. Did they just concede? Yeah, I think the blue needs to be in here. I think Cryptic Command specifically really needs to be in here. One, two, three, four, five. I know it sounds weird, but... Also add just a basic blue source because it's triple blue, but Progenitor Mimic is also a pretty solid answer on duplicant. That definitely did feel like a shame scoop. Hmm. Everything else seems good. Dryad, maybe? Let's cut the Dryad. You don't have to hold up mana. You don't use it as a counter spell. I mean, like, you can just draw it in the late game, tap down their team, and uh, kill them. Like, it, it acts as kind of like a Crater Hoof. Like, the funny thing is we took out, we took out Dryad, which is a good way to cast... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because like in the absence of Crater Hoof in a deck like this, you just kind of have to have something that like pushes through. Ugin was also a good draw. Ugin and Hornet Queen were also good draws. Sure, I'll keep this. Noble we'll Hierarch. Mm, I'll take that, sure. That's real good. You kill us in response? No. I want to get a point. Eh, I, I, I don't think the... This is not an elf. I don't think we... I don't think the level 5 is really going to make or break this. Sure. It's actually fine. Eternal Witness? I kind of do want to keep that. 
Like, we have two more lands in hand. We have a Garrick and a Duplicate, so I'm really not too concerned with, like, lands right now. Odysseus, what's going on? I don't know if I saw you when you when you arrived, but you're here now, and I appreciate you. Infinite CC? Oh, oh, I like it. Really? Just a straight up murderous rider on that guy, huh? Well, that's gonna feel silly. It's a murderous ride. I mean, worst case scenario, next time we play Eternal Witness, then we play J. Light Ranger again to get more lands. We do need one more blue source, but we have a lot of blue sources. Sylvan Carry added Noel Hierarch, Rattleclaw Mystic, Breeding Pool, Misty, Reflecting Pool. Fascinating. Arbor Elf does not do it. Well, next time I have duplicate mana, so that's good. You've assembled Whisper the Muse buyback. It only costs seven instead of six. That's a good deal. Okay. Just mono planeswalkers over here. What did they hit? Battlesphere and Druid? Yeah. And Forest? Yeah. Five and five. One, two, three, four, five. Ugin. Four, five. It's got to be in the graveyard, though. We just don't have anything to do with it. Afraid of path or condemn here. Oh, we just get to kill Ashok? That's pretty good. I mean, I'm afraid of Matt. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm afraid of Mascarum this turn. That's gonna be the real the real sweet rubbins. I 
Okay. Sure. Garrick is dead. Progenitor Mechon Eternal Witness seems pretty decent. Oh, they just run that dude out there. And a Soren, sure. Hmm. We have seven mana. I like two blue. So they go three, two on two, two, two on here. Six can take out this guy. You can go here. Let's do that. Ob, 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 Soren. And they could just block both and keep the Soren around. I just ordered Mutual's new shirt. Wow. Okay. That seems fine. I could have actually just duplicated this and got rid of both. Hmm. I mean, having Ugin in hand, if we top deck a land, is pretty nice. Is it really that broken? I mean, yes. Yeah, it's like 70% of the metagame. People are main decking red cap melee because it deals four to him without you having to uh, sacrifice a land. People are also running uh, the, the one mana needle drop card that's also a land. Oh, okay, I see. We're gonna wipe the board. Unfortunate. I mean, we got a Thrag Tusk, I guess. That's cool. And we also have Duplicate in hand, so. Yeah, they're running the one mana like Needle Drop card in order to uh, combat <laughs> Lotus Cobra. And also Mystical Dispute. Now people are main decking it just because it counters Omnath. Like it's like the card is busted and it's warping the metagame in a significant in a significant way. pretty good well that's very good I feel like Dragtus is going to die and they're just going to... Chamber, I don't know what Marvel superhero deck this is most like. The Hulk? Am 
mean, I assume they have a removal for this guy. Yep. Yes. Uh, Ketria Triome and Reflecting Pool. Well, now we have Cryptic Command up, which is pretty sweet. We know they have Phyrexian Obliterator. They're probably going to kill Primeval Titan. They could actually go kill, kill, play Obliterator. If we get negative six here, it would be pretty, pretty bananas. We also get our Tree Speaker back. Thunder Maul would have been so good here. I mean, we can actually cast it with the Catcher of Trial in the Reflecting Pool, so that's kind of cool. One, two, three, eight, nine. And if we had a land, we could also go duplicate, keep up cryptic command. But I think it's probably more important to wipe the board of these these three heathens. Oh wow, they just plussed. <laughs> cool. Yep. Oh boy. I can't imagine a world with a primeval titan loof. Oh look. I was right. Wow, they just <laughs> yeah now they're in a position where they can't really let me get tide hollow scholar back what is this nine right great number of one one equal to the number of highest life among all players so they make 18 one ones so this is gone this is gone you know you have a swamp in hand Oh, you just get to untap. Well, that's pretty wild. <sighs> oh, we're just going to take all eight. 
All right. Now we can have Cryptic Command up. All right, now I feel like I actually have some reasonable defenses here. Real top card. What's the best way to show you an image of something I just made that you have to see? Uh, link it in the chat somehow. Sack a creature. Sure, that doesn't cost you six. You have six cards in hand? That's too many cards. I don't really care about my graveyard, so... Sure. You can have it all. My empire of dirt. I will let you down. Did they forget I have Cryptic Man? Oh boy. Let's counter target spell. They're tapped out. Counter target spell. Okay, let me do a card. Counter spell return permanent. Choose a target spell. Choose a permanent. One, two. Well, the Johnny Cast version is the original version. I think the only thing we're afraid of here is Dragonlord Silumgar. Oh yeah, you're right. The Nine Inch Nails version was the original. Yeah, that's correct. That was just a mistake on my... Yep. I mean, they're at eight. They can negative five. They get to keep Dragonlord, then they lose this guy. Yep. Okay. It's not the worst. Okay, well, they both have Death Touch now, so it got worse. This is fucking unbelievable, dude. Just block here. I've never seen someone with such a terrible cube look. Yeah, well, welcome to my life. This is wild. They just get to Ugin this. Like, we just can't win. Like, there's no winning in this fucking game now. Short of being able to kill Dragonlord Silmgar, which we don't actually have a way to do. I went away for five minutes. What happened? Well, I bounced. I countered their Ashiok and bounced their uh, Tide Hollow Sculler. And then I played Ugin, killed their Soren, and then they played Dragonlord Slumgar to steal our Ugin. And now we just draw lands. 
So. This is what I keep saying. Like, this is my fucking modern Q block, and it's actually fucking horrendous and miserable. And, uh... And, of course, they have this random 3-3 death toucher, so I can't even pressure them with a 5-5, forcing them to block with this when they're at 8. I... Just, just gonna get eaten by a random 3-3 death toucher. There's no reason, like, it's... I, like, you have no other creatures in your deck, really. So it's just super, like, super weird. But... Uh, no, Progenitor Mimic is over here. It was exiled with probably an Ashiok or some bullshit. I mean, I, I either block this guy and, and take two, or I don't block it and take three, so... It's not fine to me, though, because, like, I'm still spending $10 a draft and losing money, you know? And, like, this is my this is my living, so, like, it kind of sucks when I just have to lose round after round, you know? Like, it's... I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys saying that. Here's another land. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands. Um, I appreciate you guys saying that, seriously, but, like, it does get discouraging. And it really makes it hard, like, when I do three drafts a night, and they're $10 each, and I spend $30 for something that's my living. Like, it's really hard. I can't, I can't make a living that way, you know? I can't spend $150 a week doing cube drafts because I don't even break even, you know? Like, it's not... So, sometimes you just gotta take a break. You can't. You have, when it's your job, you don't get the luxury of doing that. I can't just be like, I'm going to stop working and stop streaming because it just doesn't work like that. So we're going to go, uh, going to go to next, next match. Maybe we can min win more than one fucking game, but we'll have to see. Won't, won't cross my fingers because, you know, sometimes you, you I don't know. It's whatever. Okay, this is, okay, this is pretty funny. Oh god. <laughs> Thank you, you monkey. I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh man. Evil Monkey, are you Gilbert dude? Good to know, man. Good to know. I'm just gonna ship a land here. on land seems good I'll just highlight it for you okay sure Bananas and pajamas are coming downstairs. So we can't activate this, right? So we can just play like Round the Claw Mystic. I guess we could have attacked, but you know, I'm like, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, the last match was pretty tilting. Like, I feel like we were in total control after the Cryptic Command, but like, I know they, in my heart, I know they have fucking Dragonlord Solemgar. I know they have it, and they're just gonna steal my Ugin after I play it. But what can you do? What can you do? I guess not play Ugin, but I don't know. <laughs> what do you see this deck is missing? Crater Hoof. Like, we're having a hard time closing out games. Crater Hoof Behemoth is the only card I think we're missing.
All right, so fingers crossed they don't wipe the board here. Well, that's fascinating. We have red. Actually, Golos is fascinating here. Three, four, five, six. Interesting. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. If only this was working. To me, he was great EV because you were right. But if you win, you also get extra ticks to draft with. But you've read us with great content and insights and wonderful times. So it's awesome to have you streaming, bro. But it, but also, let's trophy next. Dude, I agree with everything you said, and I appreciate you saying so. It's just really hard not to get discouraged, man. Like, especially because it's your job, right? So when, when you feel like you're bad at your job, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like what do you do I'd love to like get a new job thank you I add white untap it let's see what we can let's spin the wheel right that's what we're here for divide druid cast it cast it team J bro thank you for the gifted sub buddy I appreciate you Let's say yes. We'll get a Hinterland Harbor and Forest, sure. I mean, that was a pretty solid. This card's very, very hard to deal with. I guess we can just Hornet Queen it next turn. I have literally no creatures I want to attack. This is the second deck we've played in a row with Isereth in it, which has been really weird because both decks have had very few creatures. So they're just like playing it as a 3 3 Death Toucher. Okay, and they did nothing here with one card in hand. Fascinating. For mana, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is seven. We can go Tatiova land Hornet Queen. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of blue. Is the last card Crypto Command? Because that's pretty funny. There's plenty of board wipes in the cube. I've been Wrath of God. I've been Realm Cloak Giant. There's Damnation. Like, I've literally played against two board wipes in this cube. In this very draft. Sweltering Sun. Like, there's numerous board wipes in this cube. Oh, and Tinkerer's Cube? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know. Oh, yield. Yield. Add one. Put a counter on it. Add one. Three, four, five. Dang it. Three, four, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully they don't counter this, right? That's what we're hoping. Okay. I also don't even want to attack with prime time because then they just block and then we have to six sacrifice six permanents. That doesn't seem good. I mean, I'm sure they're going to board wipe this turn, right? Like the only saving grace for that, the only the only reason I'd feel decent about it because they'd have one card in hand, we'd have three clues and a Vivian. But shut up and take still my money. Bad. Golos is activated. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay, I actually don't care about that at this particular time. Sure. That's also fine. They have no cards in hand? Okay. 
like it. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Um, negative four leaves these three and Golos alive. It's actually comically good. Right? We lose just a bunch of shitters. And I actually want to do it first because I want to get rid of these so I can attack with things like Prime Time. We lose activating Golos, but like, I mean, you can probably just win the game, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We put them to 3, and they lose all their permanents, so we have a new gun on board. So, I don't know. I mean, negative 4. Yeah, they're just going to concede to Ugin anyway, so. God, I'm just getting really fed up with stupid friggin' Phyrexian Obliterator, dude. Uh, pumping the tracker is not going to do anything when Ugin cares about casting cost. So I would fall Primus is like one of my favorite cards. It just deals with everything. It deals with any of your planeswalkers, your stupid enchantments. But it still wouldn't deal with uh Phyrexian Obliterator. Oh my god, Mimic on Obliterator is actually that's the tits, dude. Oh yeah, let's try that. We did see a Phyrexian Arena, so I guess we'll keep the... Oh, we also saw, like, Coalition Relic and something else. Yeah, that seems fine. We can keep that guy. We cutting, though. I mean, it's hard to cut Golos after we just... What is five-color Buck Buck? What are you saying? What is, what is that? Oh, man. We're trying to, we're trying to lift it up. We're trying to have a good time. I'll take Master of the Wild Hunt out. Five color book book. Jeez, come on, really? 8 drop, 8 drop, 6 drop, 5 Shut drop? Shut up and take my Come money! On. Let's play some standard bucks or another draft dealer's choice. Magic Banding, thank you buddy, I appreciate it. I'll keep this hand. I'm gonna get rid of Hornet Queen, because let's be real, that is... an ambitious... Thank you, dude. Do you know any song... Do you know the song Nuck If You Buck? If Yes, I know Nuck If You Buck. <laughs> when you say Buck Buck, I just think of chickens. I'm like, well, is that a chicken? Is that a chicken draft? They have all the alternate arts. I love these comic arts, man. Come on, J Dub, don't be don't be a hater. You prefer five color Nuck if you buck or my what is but what is the point of Nuck if you buck though? What is the what is the theme here? I'm gonna eat some of these Sour Patch Kids. There's always a theme. Oh wow, do they just have six their turn? I think they just have six their turn, so that's pretty wild. Basically, it's to win trophies. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, they had a second land, so I think they just kind of that's that's awkward. All right, well, I feel like we're in good shape here. Ashiok again, huh? Okay, well, Jade Light Ranger, Eternal Witness, Arbor Elf. Seems good. What are the best cards for five buck buck? Yeah, that's that's what I want to know too. Fill us in. Fill us fill the chat in on the five color buck buck. Okay, so they just took Sylvan Carry Out of Me, Rattlesphere, and Jade Light Ranger, sure. Along with this guy. Hmm. Well, that's a good dude. I guess we can actually just this is actually pretty pretty decent position to be in. We either they either eat Kalidas or Ashiok here. Oh yeah. Just give me that Kalidas. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. I don't think we need to go to play untapped, though. We're just going to play Elder Gargaroth here. Do we just negative to Elder Gargaroth? That's the question. They're at four, so they can put in, like, any of these shitty dudes. I guess they can play Eternal Witness and then get back Kalidus and play Kalidus. That's pretty rough. So we kind of want Gargaroth on board, I think. What's our threes, though? I guess we should have done it first, then gotten Tireless Tracker and two clues. What's our four? Oracle, we took out Master. Just put a put a trampoline boy in play. Seems good. I mean, if they, I, I don't think they're gonna get rid of this because they have Eternal Witness, Kalidus, or they could just have five drop. Crux of Fate. Crux of Fate's not in this cube. It's okay. My opponent found it. The beauty of the deck is as long as you have 3 or 4 cheap interaction spells and great mana, your deck can be the next 20 most powerful cards in the queue. But try lands are the key. Let me guess. Oh, Jade Light Ranger. Fascinating. Fatal Push Mana Confluence. Hmm. So they kept both. Okay, good to know. They did already play land. They played a swamp, so that's cool. Oh, just on barrel rights. So this is kind of the same turn. Okay. This guy's trample too. Take my money. Ugin's a hell of a drug. Big black deck. Here's money. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the support. Okay. One, two. It's feeling better about the play point situation, even though I think we're still pretty low. Let's check our collection. Thank you guys for watching. Check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore if you guys are looking for a sweet internet security solution and you want to support the channel. 56 play points. <sighs> That's unfortunate. You guys can get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free with that link. 
down below in the description. You can also check out manatraders.com. They will give you 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. So be sure to check those out. They are sponsors of the stream. And you guys can uh, use the links and promo codes down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.